Why am I seeing so many casual mentions of Nazis and Nazi symbology? There's been a large uptick of this kind of thing recently. I would say due to mostly the Gaza conflict, as well as the Ukraine war. There's more than a few countries with active, dedicated online misinformation campaigns. There isn't a single answer. It's a complex topic with many interlocking parts. But one thing that does stand out is a 2020 book by Professor Thomas Ridd called Active Measures. The Secret History of Disinformation and Political Warfare. In one very small part of the book, Ridd uses declassified documents to show how the Soviets funded neo-Nazis and helped spread anti-Semitism in the 1960s as a way to attack democracy in Europe. I wouldn't be surprised if they were doing the same thing in the US today. I think it's just a factor of time. Almost all of the people alive during World War II are dead. Many of the people who first heard the stories, baby boomers, are dying. We are starting to be four generations removed from the conflict and are either learning this as stories of stories or in history class, both of which can be boring and fail to hold our attention. We know the numbers and the statistics, but we don't realize the story or the impact. Nazis were marching in Wisconsin today. Nazis are all over the place. That's why people are talking about them. Because humans forget every 80 years or so. We're a horrible species. Who's saying it's casual? Sometimes it's just true. When the themes and scapegoats used in Nazi propaganda are imitated in modern discourse it doesn't diminish Nazi atrocities to point out the parallels. When Katie Hopkins put out an article saying she doesn't care if migrants die, calling them cockroaches and feral humans. There are historical connections. No one's saying she should be hanged at Nuremberg but that language is very similar to someone who was Julius Stryker. There's been a serious uptick of global anti-Semitic content. Did it start as criticism of Israel and people don't know how to stop? Were the Nazis just waiting for the moment to shine again? I have no idea. Behind every news story you do hear about is 10 that you don't hear about. Behind that is several hundred people online promoting racism and anti-Semitism who recruit new PPL into it. It's like rot inside your house. By the time you notice it in the ceiling it's already spread everywhere. Elon Musk is signal boosting and agreeing with Nazis on Twitter regarding the Jewish question. He also unbanned them. That's one part of the answer to your question. Since Trump was elected in 2016, American white power groups have felt emboldened. They've been holding public rallies more. And hate crimes have gone up. You've just not been paying attention to national news. Probably because those pos Nazi are openly marching in our streets and proudly displaying their Nazi ties. I passed a truck the other day displaying the SS. Trump really empowered these pos people. I've been noticing this too. Partially accelerated since the conflict in Palestine. But it's been slowly getting worse for many years now. It's especially been bad on Twitter since Musk took over. I've been seeing a lot of Nazi eye, skin, hair color charts getting turned into infographics. Asking people to match themselves to it and post their score getting shared around Twitter. They follow the same specific order as the ones hosted by the Holocaust Museum so they're definitely following the Nazi charts. I've been told I'm just seeing things and making everything anti-Semitic when I mention that. People are spreading blatant Nazi propaganda. But like even if those charts happen to have been created entirely independently. They're all still sharing what is basically just a, how Aryan are you, scoring chart which isn't. Really that much better at all. Most people have never actually met a Jewish person there simply aren't very many of us. 
People lose that context if they're not consistently getting outside reminders. Propaganda is being allowed all over the social media. Propaganda is extremely dangerous. I'm a Jew and I am scared. Who is the president right now? Nazi sympathizing has been going on for a while. Even before Trump, most people, like you, haven't been paying enough attention to notice it. Which means there hasn't been a lot of pushback against it. And so it's been escalating. This isn't people failing to understand the horrors and reality of Nazi Germany. This is people who actively want that kind of world to come back. We're in a very dangerous time right now. The US and many other countries have been slipping towards fascism for years. In a world where the younger generation are empathizing with bin Laden and Jew hatred has been normalized beyond fringe groups. It isn't a surprise to see Nazi symbology being slapped onto just about everything. It's also what happens when you broaden the term to apply to anyone that disagrees with you. Which has been commonplace for a long while now. Don't buy the hype. These people wear masks and hide online. They are not a majority. Right-wing extremists and nationalists want to normalize their stances and opinions and have plenty of ways to go about doing so. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.